now on Coast TV News. It's a cool start and we've got mostly cloudy skies this morning, but it's dry with another mild day and some more showers later on with a cooling trend in the days to come and mainly dry for the upcoming weekend. I'll have the details coming up. Twisters tear through this funnel, one of several seen in the Midwest Plains. We know the what we know of the damage that was done in this area. You know, obviously with uh, safety and security, we've made a lot of improvements. Uh, we'd hate to kind of cut back on those improvements, but that's a possibility. The potential Cape Cut, you just heard the school district's superintendent say, what could happen if a referendum does not pass? We have details in the new plan for voters. No Milton Big Mac for now. It appeared on track for its next step, the reason for a delay to build the restaurant. This is Coast TV News Today. And welcome to our 6 o'clock hour. Good morning, I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, I'm Paige Marley. It is Wednesday, April 17th, 2024. Okay, starting the thing about weekend plans. Starting yeah. to formulate as we make our way on this Wednesday. Yeah, what do you have planned? I'm in that, actually, the runway yeah, of the fashion right. show in Rehoboth Beach. You can see me. A model. Showcasing some fine clothing. Nice. Very looking forward to that. Um, I don't have weekend plans. Maybe okay. I'll come see you walk in the That'd fashion be, show. Yeah. <laughs> Take a picture. <laughs> I will. Perfect. And maybe it'll end up on the cover of Vogue. Oh, you know, that's my goal, Paige. It's I always see. been my goal. I'm using this to leverage, leverage a, a new career, a new modeling career. I learn something new about you every day. Okay, perfect. Hey, let's bring in Bob. Try you now. Bob, you should go with me so we can <laughs> see the, the new star of Vogue in his fashion show. I'm going to have to. Yeah, all those flashing bulbs on the cameras and and Matt. Yeah, boy, uh, you know, striking a pose on the runaway. I'm going to have to check that out for sure. <laughs> check this out. Well, we've got a lot of data missing on our temperatures. Uh, we've got a few numbers out there. 53 in Ocean City, 47 in Salisbury, 51 Georgetown, 48 Redden. So a little warmer along the coast, a little cooler inland. And we've got a light southerly wind. And we've got mostly cloudy skies right now. You see some of the brighter white moving in, indicating some, well, mainly cloudy skies. So we have been seeing some breaks earlier, and we'll call it mostly cloudy to cloudy. There are some showers across Virginia back into western PA and some of those could get in here by this afternoon but you're mainly dry this morning some breaks some sunshine temperatures quickly warming through the 60s lower 70s late morning into early afternoon around 71 in Millsboro Delmar 72 but you see the bright white indicating mainly cloudy skies this afternoon and that chance of a spotty shower so we're still going to see the sun especially this morning UV index brought to us by Ocean City it's a five burn time is 40 minutes so take care out there and we have have our uh, readings in the medium to high range next few days, especially Thursday and Saturday. So apply the higher SPF on the midday shade and limit your time outdoors. Thank you, Bob. Hey, we had some strong storms moving through Iowa. This is Iowa on Tuesday, and then it spawned several tornadoes like the one you are seeing on your screen. A shocking image there. Several tornadoes were confirmed in southeast Iowa. Homes, businesses were damaged, trees were uprooted, and there also were power lines that were knocked down. A long debated and discussed McDonald's location in Milton facing another setback after the town's planning and zoning commission could not get beyond a number of concerns at last night's meeting. One of those concerns, the parking situation at the shopping center of the proposed site. The McDonald's has been the subject of a lot of talk and debate and opinion in Milton for the past few years. Some people in the town think it would bring a headache in traffic, and they say it doesn't fit Milton's antique feel, but others say the town needs a quick food option. Now engineers with that restaurant must wait until at least the next committee meeting to try again for approval. For the second time in two weeks, the Milford Planet Fitness was a victim of a bomb threat. Police say it happened Monday at the plaza location. Police say this threat was similar to a previous one that was made April 6 against several Planet Fitness locations on Delmarva. And just like last time, the gym was evacuated. That was a precaution. This time, Milford police say the bomb-sniffing dogs came in. They did a sweep, and then it was declared Planet Fitness there was safe. This was about a half hour after the threat. Happening today, possible action as the Lewis Planning Commission meets to address some ongoing city topics. The commission could make a recommendation to mayor and city council on including someone who doesn't live in the town to join the planning commission. There's going to be a discussion about allowing small secondary homes on the same property as a main house. That's known as accessory dwell dwelling units. That one's been a hot topic for months. And then the commissioners also considering making changes to the city's rules to align with federal guidelines about flood protection and how to measure building heights in flood-prone areas. All this happening at the meeting that will take place at 630. It's a referendum. 
Round two on Tuesday, the Cape Henlopen Open School District revealed new details on what exactly they are asking taxpayers to pay for. Cape has cut down its proposed tax hike. There's no pool, but the next referendum still calls for about 102 acres off of Cedar Grove Road, a new district office and a transportation facility. The district wants to raise over $42 million for capital projects and over four and a half for current operating expenses. Total tax impact, it's about 39 cents per $100 of assessed property value, which the district says if you add that up or equate it, calculate it, it's $109 per year for the average home, and then it decreases after one year. Again, that's according to the district. Superintendent Bob Fulton says 90% of the money generated is for safety and security expenses, as well as to pay school staff salary and energy costs. You know, obviously, with uh, safety and security, we've made a lot of improvements. Uh, we'd hate to kind of cut back on those improvements, but that's a possibility. Um, so for the most part, just kind of keeping things moving and keeping things going and it's more about staff. We want to make sure that we, we have the lowest class sizes possible. We have every staff we qualify for and then some um, because we're proud. Of and polls open for this referendum on May 21st. There are more locations this time around, and we have a full list of those polling locations and the voting requirements. You can find those at CoastTV.com. Lieutenant Governor Bethany Hall Long has now made it official. According to the Delaware Department of Elections, she filed the paperwork to run for governor. Hall Long joins two other Democrats in their race, Matt Meyer and Colin O'Mara. That trio will face off in the primary election set for September 10th. Lewis is Jerry Price, the only candidate currently to file on the Republican side. Current Governor John Carney, who's stepping down at the end of his term, endorsed Hall Long following her public announcement back in September. Developing news out of Georgetown, where current council member Angela Townsend has announced she'll run for mayor of Georgetown. She has served on the town council since 2020. Acting mayor Bill West, the incumbent, has also announced he will run again. He's been mayor for the past decade. Some important topics are on the table for the next city commissioners meeting in Rehoboth Beach. On the agenda includes a license agreement that would allow the Coast Hotel, that's across from the post office, to extend an awning over the public area. There's also a request from the Rehoboth Beach Public Library to change some deed restrictions. The purpose of this request to make some changes to the interior layout of the library. Commissioners will also be discussing some proposed changes to the city's law concerning the role of the city manager, also how taxes are assessed, and the city's specific powers. This meeting takes place Friday at 2 p.m. Israel's weighing its response to Iran's attack. U.S. officials tell NBC News they anticipate this response will be restricted. On Capitol Hill, U.S. funding may soon be on its way to support Israel. NBC's Bree Jackson shows us how lawmakers are still trying to hammer out the details. Get a lot worse. Israeli officials say Iran will face consequences for its attack over the weekend and that Israel will choose their response accordingly. The Biden administration continues to stress restraint. We have been very clear in our concerns that this war not escalate. Uh, it has a, a greater impact on the region. As part of its response, the U.S. is preparing new sanctions against Iran. In discussions I've had, um, all options to disrupt terrorist financing uh, of Iran continue to be on the table. As the world awaits Israel's next move, lawmakers are moving forward with efforts to provide more funding to foreign allies. Previous attempts have stalled. So the time for delay is over. Democrats have shown repeatedly our willingness to compromise to get important things done. I, I don't care how the sausage is made. We just need something that needs to go to the president's desk. House Speaker Mike Johnson unveiled his plan to get the job done. It includes separating funding for Israel from support for Ukraine, Taiwan, and other national security priorities. It's a move that could cost him the speakership. Because the motion is going to get called, okay? Does anybody doubt that? The motion will get called. Mike Johnson, of all the people in this country, is probably in the toughest position of anybody as far as governing. Votes on the four separate security bills are expected this week. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News. We're just getting started in this hour of Coast TV News today. Paige, coming up, it's that time of year, pollen dusting Del Mar, but pretty hard right now. We'll tell you when you can expect this dust to settle down. Also ahead, Route 90 repairs are underway. We're telling you when you can expect that work to be complete. And United Airlines blaming Boeing for a cost of money. We'll tell you why the airline may have some issues of its own to deal with. All that and more as Coast TV News Today continues.
Your Ford dealer presents America's all-time best-selling SUV, Ford Explorer. Bronco Sport with superb off-road ability. The fun, fuel-efficient Ford Escape. Want more? Visit your local Ford dealer. Right now, get 0% financing for 60 months on select Ford SUVs. But hurry, this offer won't last long. Our soldiers are heroes who protect our country. But when they come home, it's up to us to help our heroes. Now, during FH First Spring into Giving campaign, for every $29 cooling system tune-up we perform, we'll donate that amount directly to Wounded Warrior Project. FH Fur Plumbing, Heating, Air Conditioning, and Electrical. Call 877-CALL-FUR or visit fhfur.com to schedule your $29 cooling system tune-up. And use hashtag Spring Into Giving to share how you're giving back. Hi, I just had to tell you Bally Casino has partnered with Bet Rivers in Delaware. We've got lots and lots of exciting slots and table games to play. With really fast payouts and a rewards program you'll love! Plus, with award-winning customer service, the excitement never stops. Is this awkward? So get ready, casino fans. And Brittany. Brittany. Bet Rivers and Valley Casino, together in Delaware. Download the app today. Give your backyard a cozy enhancement with Patio Systems in Lewis, Delaware. Integrity is the pillar of our craft. With quality craftsmanship to transform your yard or deck into a custom oasis, providing you comfort all year round. Take control of the elements with the Shore's best selection of pergolas, retractable awnings, screen and glass enclosures, and a wide selection of modern decking and railing systems personalized your way. For exceptional workmanship at reasonable prices, contact Patio Systems, your backyard living specialist. Locally owned and operated since 2001. It is 612 on this, well, mostly cloudy Wednesday morning. Boardwalk Plaza Cam, not too much activity. Mid to high level clouds and sun's coming up here in about nine minutes. So we'll see that filtered sunshine. 48 in Redden right now, 51 in Georgetown, 47 in Salisbury, 52 in Ocean City. So you need the jacket out the door. Winds are pretty light and clouds are moving in, but it's those mid to high level clouds. There's thicker clouds farther back to the west and even showers. West Virginia, Western PA, even some lightning bolts there. Some, some of these showers get in here a little bit later on this afternoon, but not too many travel problems. Just getting that pollen off your car. That's the main problem. Here's the green light for your morning commute looking good, dry and cooler, but heading home and your PM commute, the yellow light. So have the umbrella and have the wiper blades ready to go. We could be seeing a few showers, maybe a rumble of thunder a little bit later on. The new Milford Middle School is going to keep its old name. The district announced Tuesday that the building, which was demolished last year, will keep the original name, Milford Middle. This is to honor tradition. Milford Middle is expected to open in 2025. If you have high schoolers in Milford starting this August, 11th and 12th graders, they'll have to opt in for bus service. Parents and guardians of incoming juniors and seniors, seniors, they must fill out an opt-in form for their children to secure a bus seat. And that form can be completed at any time during the year. The district says this new process allows them to reallocate buses as needed. United Airlines says it's feeling the impact of Boeing's ongoing problems. The carrier lost $200 million during the first three months of the year after Boeing was forced to ground its 737 MAX 9 jets for several weeks. However, the airline has had its own share of mishaps recently, including their engines catching on fire and wheels falling off the planes. Google now cracking down on third-party apps that block YouTube ads. The international technology company announcing viewers who are using the third-party apps may experience buffering issues. They may also see an error message saying the following content not available on this app. That's when you're trying to watch something. Google noted purchasing YouTube Premium maybe the only way to escape those ads. Well, still ahead this morning, Route 90 repairs. They're calling for lane closures. We'll tell you what crews are fixing and when you can expect the road to be ready. And mostly cloudy skies this morning. It's dry. Tyndall's casual furniture cam and laurel showing brightening skies and lots of clouds the next few days. Bark is worse than the bite. A few showers, a cooling trend as well, especially into the weekend. I'll have your forecast details coming up in two minutes. Stay tuned. For 30 years, I've been fighting for Maryland. The man with the guts to stand up to Biden, Robin Ficker. Biden's let 7.2 million illegals into our country. That's more than all of Maryland. 
I'll stand with President Trump to secure the border, declare war on the cartels, and ban welfare for illegals. Veteran, conservative fighter, Robin Ficker for Senate. I'm Robin Ficker, and I approve this message. Draper Media seeks a detail-oriented overnight operations technician. This crucial role involves monitoring and managing over-the-air and content, plus quality control. Successful candidates are proactive problem solvers with knowledge in broadcasting systems like Grass Valley Ignite and Sony ELC. This position requires night, early morning, and weekend shifts. Apply today at DraperMediaJobs.com. Draper Media is an equal opportunity employer. For every season, every weather moment, stay ahead with the Coast TV First Alert Weather Phone. Just call 443-880-9100. Your forecast, just a call away. Sponsored by the law offices of Baird, Mandalas, Brockstead, and Federico. For the world's greatest athletes, there is nothing like competing on the world's biggest stage. An Olympics unlike any other, the Paris Olympics. Catch the 2024 Paris Olympic Summer Games on Coast TV. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. Right now, pet dander, skin cells, mold spores, pollen, and dirt are being sucked into your air ducts. Get cleaner air and system efficiency now with Stanley Steamer. For over 75 years, we've continually engineered our equipment and processes to deep clean your entire home. Your air ducts aren't clean until they're Stanley Steamer clean. Time is 6.17 and you're looking live at Ocean City. Got some clouds in that scene right there, Bob. As we're getting closer, just a few minutes away from official sunrise. Yeah, yeah four minutes, Matt, to be specific. 6.21, the sunrise getting earlier and earlier. We'll see that sun through filtered clouds this morning. Here's clouds and radar right now. We're looking at, well, lots of clouds and they're thickening up. These are mid to high level clouds right now, not producing anything in the way of precipitation. And you can see those clouds moving all across Del Mar. So if you're traveling across the Mid-Atlantic region down to the Carolinas or to New York, we're looking at dry conditions there now, but we are looking at some, well, clouds and some showers farther to the west. Nothing all that heavy, scattered showers from West Virginia and maybe some thunderstorms starting to fire up near Pittsburgh right now and more rain near Cleveland and the Ohio Valley. You see this big spin here near Minneapolis. That spawned some huge tornadoes across eastern Iowa yesterday. We're not seeing severe weather. We're seeing kind of the leftovers from this as it continues to move to the east. Missing a lot of temperature data this morning, so we apologize for that. 52 in Ocean City, 47 in Salisbury, 48 red and 51 into Georgetown right now. Winds are generally out of the south and they're very light. So with that southerly wind and with some of that sunshine, it warms us up quickly this morning through the 60s. A few more clouds late morning. We're topping out in the low 70s, late morning into early afternoon around 71 Millsboro. Salisbury 73, but cooler right along the immediate coast with the colder Atlantic Ocean and we're seeing the winds coming off the ocean later on thickening clouds and we could see a few showers say after about two o'clock on and off showers through this evening. Not a big deal and through the overnight, maybe a heavier shower rumble of thunder shortly after midnight and then we'll call it partly cloudy into Thursday morning and Thursday is another day where we're seeing lots of clouds, a little bit of sunshine. I think we could hit 70 before we see another big push of cool air as the winds start to turn to the northeast. You see temperatures dipping into the 40s tomorrow night. Our winds are out of the south and then southeast as we go through this evening. A little gustier after midnight and then shifting to the north and northeast as we go through your Thursday. So definitely well, feeling cooler with that wind coming off the ocean and a lot of clouds in the next few days, but really not a lot of rain. So here's Friday afternoon seeing the mainly cloudy skies and then Friday night into early Saturday with the front. We could see some light showers. I don't think it's going to wash out your plans by any means as we're looking at a dry Saturday, a dry Sunday with increasing clouds, and then we start to see some rain building in from the south just in time for Monday. Paul Davis, seven day forecast, 70 today with some showers. Morning sun, 71 on Thursday. Cloudy Friday with 63 degrees. And then the weekend, not too bad. Don't cancel those outdoor plans. Mostly cloudy skies, 68 Saturday, 44 Sunday morning, 61 on Sunday. It looks like the rain does return on Monday. We're into the low 60s there. Then Tuesday, sun and clouds and 65.
Thank you, Bob, you may have seen extra traffic going into Ocean City lately. That's because pothole repairs are underway on Route 90. That's the Ocean City Expressway. And MDOT says it will require some lane closures. We went to Ocean City to see this work for ourselves. And one person we talked to says the timing of this project, it, it could have been a little bit better. It would have been nice if they could have gotten it done a little earlier before the spring season started. But it is what it is. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, I'm glad they're getting it done. MDOT says the potholes will be completely repaired by April 17th. That's today at 3 p.m. at the latest. Coming up next on Coast TV News Today, pollen has begun dusting Delmarva heavy. We're telling you its purpose and when you can expect that dust to decrease. Don't go anywhere. The UV Index Weather Report is sponsored by Ocean City Tourism. Somewhere to smile about. Shower glass. Our name says it all. We provide the best custom shower glass on the shore in a fraction of the time, and our reviews prove it. Shower glass delivers the best fit, finish, and fastest service. Reliable scheduling, competitive pricing, the best in the business. They're the only one we call for shower glass. Frameless beauty with speed, accuracy, and lifetime warranties. Shower glass, it's all we do. Visit showerglassdoors.net to schedule your free consultation. On Wednesday, May 15th, vote for your favorite chef at the 10th anniversary celebration, Top Chef of the Culinary Coast event to benefit Meals on Wheels Lewis Rehoboth. The fun begins at 6 p.m. at Ivy and Dewey Beach when you'll enjoy live music and feast on the area's best culinary creations and local spirits. Get your tickets online at MealsOnWheelsLR.org or call Meals on Wheels at 302-645-7449. Discover why Gateway Subaru is Delmarva's destination dealership, earning our customers' trust and exceeding expectations. No matter where you live, experience the Gateway difference with our no-pressure sales approach and fair, honest pricing. Plus, Gateway has more in-stock Subaru inventory to choose from than other dealers have combined. Need service fast? Our quick service lane is always ready. No appointment needed. Gateway Subaru, just minutes from the beaches in the heart of Delmarva. Higher standards. Have you seen those crazy HVAC deals? Don't fall for that. At Above and Beyond Service Heating and Cooling, we just don't make promises, we deliver results. With our peace of mind maintenance agreement, you can rest assured we will keep up with your system throughout the year. We're a local company. You're not just a customer, you're our neighbor. Take advantage of our 0% finance for up to 72 months or up to $3,000 in rebates on a new train system. Call Above and Beyond Services to keep your family comfortable. Remember, it's hard to stop a train. Well, we've all seen it when you stepped outside, and if you're one of the afflicted, then you've definitely felt it. Sorry, pollen, it's dusting Delmarva, turning cars shades of green and yellow. The pollen has even formed a film on local ponds. This pollen is being created by trees, who are, which are trying to reproduce. Delmarva right now is in the heart of tree pollen season, so that's what's causing the problems for people here along the coast. My car is different today. It was covered with green, but usually... Um I'll know about three or four in the morning that it does come in through the vents in the house. Um, and even with those vents, I still get, um, I still get reactions to the, to the pollen with headaches and stuff. And the peak of tree pollen season is this month, but pollen season won't be over until the fall as we still have to deal with grass and weed pollen. Open positions in Dewey Beach. The town is looking for a couple of them here. One part and full time parking ambassadors. They're also looking for part time employee for summer ground maintenance. Both these jobs have flexible hours. They pay $18 per hour. The town says it's also posting a part time year round job to help process building permits. The town of Dewey Beach getting ready for the summer season. Town officials announcing a few things they want you to know before the season starts. So here are some of those. They're saying the town will not be selling any parking permits for trailers this year. No trailers or boat trailers will be allowed to park in the public parking spaces in town. The town will also be extending the swimming area on Van Dyke Bayside Beach this summer and the water tower on Bayard Avenue that's owned by the county. That's going to get cleaned before summer starts in the area. We bring back First Alert Meteorologist Bob Trahe. We are just two days away. The countdown is on to the DSN Outdoors Expo yes. at the Delaware State Fairgrounds. You know, we've been talking about this, mm -hmm. hunting, mm -hmm. fishing, even 
hot tubs. Yes, that's right. I was, I was waiting for you to oh. punch that one in there. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, but Matt, there's a lot of stuff. I know. Uh, but uh, you should also bring your jacket, Bob. That's what you let us know earlier. Your jacket and bring the umbrella just in case. But all in all, I think the weather is looking fine, guys, for the DSN Outdoors Expo. Hours Friday, 4 to 8 p.m. up in Harrington, and then Saturday from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. So Friday, 3 p.m., we're looking at mid 60s, around 64. We keep that through about 5 o'clock, but feeling cooler with an easterly wind. Lots of clouds, some peaks of sun. Then we start to dip into the 50s as we go into the evening. Definitely need the jacket then. And then on Saturday, 10 a.m., around 60 degrees. But look at these winds coming out of the northwest, making it feel even chillier. And we do slowly rise through the mid to maybe upper 60s by 3 p.m. with uh, mostly cloudy skies, some peaks of sun. But overall, pretty dry and looking good for the Outdoors Expo. More on your weekend forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Forward to it, Bob. Thank you. Also coming up, the possible impeachment of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas is moving forward after documents were delivered to the Senate Tuesday. We're telling you what could happen next in our nation's capital. We have a Cape referendum retry. It could be to build a plot of land as the school district is trying again to get its referendum approved and what the funding could include. And we're awaiting approval once again on plans for McDonald's and Milton. We're telling you why the town's planning and zoning committee held off on a vote. Coast TV News today will be right back. With all the choices of services on Del Marva, where do you even begin? Trust experts of various fields with Del Marva Experts. Sponsored by Kitchen Concepts Plus, Chesapeake Eye Center, Apple Discount Drugs, FLC Energy, Spicer Brothers Construction, Mattress Peddlers. Homewell Care Services, Robinson's Jewelry and Coin Shop, Delmarva Acupuncture and Wellness Center, Mast Audiology Services, Riptide Restoration, Delmarva Day, and Buchanan Subaru. Visit DelmarvaExperts.com for various local professionals offering the best of Delmarva. Delmarva Experts, local experts right when you need them. When you visit the Delmarva Design Center, you'll experience a selection of appliances, cabinetry, countertops, tile, and flooring all together in one showroom. The 10,000 square foot location has a variety of inspiring samples for any project size or budget. Your dedicated product experts and designers collaborate to bring your dream project to life. Come and see what the kitchen industry buzz is all about. Experience the Delmarva Design Center in Selbyville, Delaware, serving all of Delmarva's coast. When choosing windows and doors for your home, at Pella, it's your choice. We manufacture maintenance-free vinyl, fiberglass, and wood-clad windows and patio doors, all with lifetime warranties. High-performance, energy-efficient, and loaded with options to help make your house your home. Industry-first features and benefits make living easier and increase your home's value. Visit our Experience Center or call us today to schedule your free in-home consultation, where we bring the showroom to you. On Coast TV News. It's a cool start with some clouds this morning, mid to high level clouds. Another mild day with some showers later on and a cooling trend in the days to come. And the weekend looking mainly dry. I'll have the details coming up. Dials back tax requirement. The new amount property owners would have to pay to buy land like this if next month's referendum in the school district is approved. No break today for Milton McDonald's. We'll take a look at why the town has put another pause on the fast food restaurant. More dwelling discussion in Lewis as garage apartments and similar housing gets another look by the city. This is Coast TV News Today. April 17, 2024. Good morning, everybody. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, Paige. Good morning, everyone. I'm Paige Marley. Yeah, it's 629 on this Wednesday morning as we continue. It's really been a nice stretch of weather. Not bad. Going even back to Sunday, mm -hmm. part of Saturday. Yeah, that's right. But some rain showers, they might be on the way this Maybe. week. You know, but we have a lot of good time you to still what? celebrate. You know I'm hoping that yeah. those rain showers get rid of some of that green pollen on my truck. Yeah, so maybe we're all okay with a little, a little bit of rain, but yeah. Bob, we said a little bit of rain yeah. this month. Mm -hmm. yeah. A little bit. 
Yeah, that like, much, Bob, exactly. That much, that, that much. And just a little bit of rain with all that pollen can actually make it worse on your car. I know. You need like a deluge, which I don't think we're going to see. So car wash, just run it through, get the power wash going. Uh, we've got temperatures missing this morning in a lot of cases, but we've got 40s and low 50s for where we're seeing those. 52 Ocean City, 47 Salisbury, 51 Georgetown, 48 in Redden. So upper 40s, lower 50s, and a light southerly breeze right now. Mid to high level clouds are building in. You see the deeper white indicating the thicker clouds, but it's dry. But pack the umbrella if you're headed out to work or school. We have some showers back to our west, even some thunder there in western PA. And some of those showers moving in a little bit later today. But otherwise, some sunshine this morning quickly rising through the 60s and some lower 70s from Millsboro, Selbyville to Salisbury late morning. And then a little cooler along the beaches, lower 70s this afternoon thickening clouds could see a stray shower into the afternoon or evening. So overall, your ferry ride from Cape May to Lewis is looking quiet. Sun this morning and some clouds, 50s and 60s. Winds are light. We do cloud it up a little bit later on this morning and by noon into the mid 60s, around 63. Bob, strong storms move through Iowa Tuesday, spawning several tornadoes. You can see some shocking video there on your screen right now. Multiple tornadoes confirmed in southeast Iowa. Homes and businesses were damaged, trees were uprooted, power lines in that area also knocked down. A speed bump in the planning process for a proposed McDonald's in Milton, the fast food giant. They've been looking to build at a new location. It's right off of Route 16 and Union Street extension. They've been looking at this for a few years now. Yeah, but the Golden Arches, they still haven't gotten their seal of approval. And Tuesday night, there was another setback. Coast TV's Charles Reiner was at the Milton Planning and Zoning Committee where that indecision was on the menu. This land is a spot earmarked for a new McDonald's location. I never eat McDonald's. <laughs> but the plans to approve the new fast food location is getting burned. A motion to approve the final site plan was actually put on the table Tuesday night. But almost immediately, members of the Planning and Zoning Commission started debating details and even questioned the validity of some of the data being provided to them. Now, this McDonald's has already received preliminary site plan approval from the Milton Planning and Zoning Commission. And the last time it was talked about was about a year ago. But in the meeting Tuesday night, the commission says more data is needed. Some commissioners worry the McDonald's parking lot is too close to the lot for the Food Lion and Walgreens, claiming it proved to be a nightmare for both congestion and for safety. Meanwhile, engineers representing the Golden Arches argued that multiple planners and state agencies have already given their plans the thumbs up. Some in the community still don't think a fast food chain is the right fit in Milton. I like the local restaurants here with local owners and things like that, but a chain like that, not, no, not my favorite thing to have in this beautiful area. For anyone that is hoping to get fries with that someday, that day is a little further out. This plan has been delayed until at least the next planning and zoning meeting. And even if the site plan is approved, it still needs to go through town council. I'm Charles Reinhardt in Milton, Coast TV News. It does bring us to our Coast TV poll, and we want to know what is your stance on that McDonald's coming to the banks of the Broad Kill? Here are the updated results. This has been the best part of my morning watching these results come in because, man, it's getting close. It was 50-50. You saw that just a second ago. Someone just voted for support, so now that's winning. Last hour, Oppose was winning. This is getting exciting, folks. Make sure you vote. Go to coasttv.com slash vote, or you can vote on our mobile app. All right, well, it is referendum round two on Tuesday. The Cape and Lopen School District revealed some new details on what exactly they're asking taxpayers to fund. Cape has cut down its proposed tax hike. There's not going to be a pool anymore, but the next referendum still calls for buying about 102 acres off Cedar Grove Road, a new district office, and a transportation facility. The district wants to raise over $42 million for capital projects and over $4.5 million for current operating expenses. The total tax impact is about $0.39 cents per $100 of assessed property value, which the district says breaks down to about $109 per year for the average home. And then that would decrease after one year, according to the district. Superintendent Bob Fulton says 90% of the money generated is for safety and security expenses, as well as to pay school staff salaries and energy costs. Some troubling news here. We have the second time in two weeks the Milford Planet Fitness. It was the victim of a bomb threat. Police there say it happened Monday at the Milford Plaza location. And police say this threat was similar to a previous threat made on April 6th against several Planet Fitness locations on Delmarva. And just like last time, the gym was evacuated. That was a precaution. And Milford police say this time the bomb sniffing dogs came in. They did a sweep 
And then officials declared Planet Fitness safe about a half hour after that threat. Happening today, possible action as the Lewis Planning Commission meets to address some ongoing city topics. The commission could make a recommendation to mayor and city council on including someone who doesn't live in town to join the planning commission. There's also going to be discussion about allowing small secondary homes on the same property as main homes, known as accessory dwelling units. That one's been a hot topic for months. And the commissioners are considering making changes to the city's rules to align with federal guidelines about flood protection and how to measure building heights in flood-prone areas. All this happening at the meeting at 6.30. You are looking live at Washington, D.C. That is the U.S. Capitol building, and inside there, Tuesday, some history was made. House of Representatives sent articles of impeachment against Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas to the Senate he is charged with failing to enforce immigration and border security laws. Senate Majority Leader Democrat Chuck Schumer says the upper chamber will deal with the matter expeditiously. Republican senators, they are demanding a thorough trial, but none of the Senate's 51 Democrats have said they support the Mayorkas impeachment. Mayorkas has claimed in previous testimony under oath that the southern border was secure, but lately he's acknowledged that there is cause for concern there. Trump was back in the courtroom Tuesday for his continuing criminal trial. Trump has pled not guilty to 34 counts of falsifying business records. The charges are tied to a payment he made to an adult film actor at the end of 2016 election cycle. The court continued with the jury selection process for the trial that Trump has to be present for. That trial could go on for six to eight weeks. More news to get to in this final half hour. Don't go anywhere. Still coming up, a museum makeover. Ocean City almost complete, restoring the 1910 Bank of Ocean City. We're telling you what you can expect from the new and improved building. Also, it was the Terrapins and the Blue Hands on the baseball diamond. And after trailing by seven, could Delaware complete a comeback against Maryland? Stay with us on Coast TV News today. We salute Rob Frampton, Fire Chief of the Salisbury Fire Department. Rob Frampton has exemplified leadership and dedication as Fire Chief. His commitment to emergency services has earned him the Maryland EMS Provider of the Year and multiple unit citation awards. We honor his significant contributions and unwavering dedication to community safety. Spicer Brothers and Coast TV are honoring military persons and first responders serving Delmarva. If you have a family member, friend, or community member that you would like to nominate for a Coast TV salute, go to CoastTVSalutes.com. Dive into the extraordinary this spring at Bella Terra's Garden Center. Discover rare wonders, vibrant annuals, perennials, a wide range of native plants, and lush tropicals. With over 20 years of expertise, trust us to elevate your curb appeal. Explore our website and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for insider tips, inspiration, and exclusive deals that will take your gardening to the next level. Experience the possibilities at our garden center right off Route 16 between Milton and Allendale. Monday, the playoffs begin with guest mentors Maluma and Saweetie. Best performance. Y'all better watch it. <laughs> the Voice, new Monday on NBC and Peacock. We're about a murder. Let's bury the bastard. You're confident in the evidence? Everything we have is gray. Excuse me? The last thing I want is to send an innocent man to prison. New Law & Order, Thursday on NBC and Peacock. Give your backyard a cozy enhancement with Patio Systems in Lewis, Delaware. Integrity is the pillar of our craft with quality craftsmanship to transform your yard or deck into a custom oasis, providing you comfort all year round. Take control of the elements with the Shore's best selection of pergolas, retractable awnings, screen and glass enclosures, and a wide selection of modern decking and railing systems personalized your way. For exceptional workmanship at reasonable prices, contact Patio Systems, your backyard living specialist. Locally owned and operated since 2001. 20 years ago, Farmers Bank of Willards opened branches to serve Ocean City and West OC. Now, we're making it official with permanent locations to better serve our customers in Worcester County. While other banks are closing branches, we're banking on Ocean City's future. Sure, we have a world-class app, but sometimes there's no substitute for helpful, friendly people. Announcing our grand opening on 87th Street, North Ocean City, and coming in 2024, West OC on Route 611. Switch to the Farmers Bank of Willards, where people matter. 
639 on our Wednesday morning. Not a bad start to the day. Mostly cloudy skies. Mid to high level clouds over Delaware Bay. Tunnel and Razor Cam. We're looking at temperatures in the 40s and low 50s. 48 in Red and 52 in Ocean City. Salisbury, a little cooler for you at 47. So you definitely need that jacket out the door. But the winds are pretty light right now. And that will be the case much the day. As we have some thicker clouds moving across Delmarva right now. They're not producing anything in the way of rain. We are seeing the showers back to our west. Even some thunder east of Pittsburgh. So some of these showers working their way in later this afternoon. Today's checklist have the umbrella and raincoat for this afternoon and evening. Have a windbreaker, especially along the coast. A little cool and sunscreen is needed. Stay hydrated as well. It's that time of year and have the shades too. Make sure you pick up the phone. Another way to get your forecast is the Coast TV First Alert weather line. Call 443-880-9100. It's sponsored by Baird Mandalas, Broxted and Federico. This morning, a new bill has been passed by Delaware State Senate related to commercial crabbing. It now resides in the House waiting approval. According to the General Assembly, House Bill 14 would create a new license for the use of trot lines. Under the new bill, a person would not be able to have both a commercial crab pot license and a trot line license at the same time. This bill would take effect immediately after being signed into law. Happening now, Fenwick Island residential parking permits. They are available for pickup. The town says property owners will only get one blue parking permit with two street parking tags. You need to bring your photo ID to pick up your permit, and that is at the Fenwick Island Police Department. The Ocean City Museum Society finalizing its restoration of the 1910 Bank of Ocean City building. That's located in downtown Ocean City on Dorchester Street. The society is aiming to preserve the building's original architectural details, like its hardwood floors and the crown molding. The restored building would expand the Ocean City Life Saving Station Museum, providing new spaces for exhibits, events, and research. Happening now, you can share your ideas about what you think the future of outdoor recreation could look like in Maryland. The Department of Natural Resources has a survey. It's open now for you to comment on the types of outdoor activities you enjoy. The agency says that your feedback will help the state understand outdoor habits and preferences to better improve those experiences in Maryland. Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. Good morning. In D1 baseball last night, Delaware hoping to avenge a one-run loss to Maryland earlier in the season. And it got started quick. Top first, second batter of the game, Eddie Hakapian, unloads on one and sends it over the fence and left. His sixth homer of the season makes it 1-0 Terrapins. In the third now, 5-1 Maryland, and they're still rolling. Michael Ienzo sends it the other way to left field. Runner comes home from third, but the Terrapins don't stop there. One batter later, Jordan Crossland makes sure two more runs will cross the plate with this bomb. No doubt about it for his third long ball of the season, 8-1 Maryland. But the Blue Hens did not go down easy. Down 11-4 in the fifth, but not much longer. Jose Armando Diaz goes the opposite way with a two-run blast. His second homer of the year makes it a five-run game in the six, 11-8 Maryland, and there goes that man again. Diaz with an absolute no-doubter to right field into the trees. It goes all of a sudden. It's an 11-10 ball game. Delaware hanging in. Fast forward to the ninth. Final chance for the Blue Hens, but Bryce Greenlee is thrown out at first, and Maryland goes on to win 11-10. And in girls' soccer action, Laurel gets their first win of the season with a 6-0 shutout win on the road over Seaford. They hope to keep the momentum going on Saturday when they take on Dover. And today, check out our game of the night, Shinkatig Softball taking on Parkside at 4 p.m. live on DSN. That'll do it for sports. Have a great day. And don't forget this weekend, join the Delmarva Sports Network at the Delaware State Fairgrounds for the DSN Outdoors Expo. Both indoor and outdoor vendors will be on site. They will showcase everything outdoors. Boats, RVs, hot tubs, hunting, fishing, and more. The DSN Outdoors Expo, it runs April 19th through the 20th. And the weather will cooperate for that, but make sure you have your windbreaker. Beautiful sunrise this morning on our Tidal Health Cam in Salisbury. 47 for you, so get that heavier jacket this morning. It's cool. Well, coming up, we've got a couple mild days, and then it cools off the next few days, and we've got some shower chances as well. Nothing too heavy, and then a more substantial cool down into the weekend. I'll have your full forecast coming up in two minutes. Shift gears for success with the DSN Scholar Athlete Award. Brought to you by your Salisbury Honda dealer. Each month we'll award a $1,000 scholarship to a Delmarva High School senior who excels in sports and in the classroom. It's Chapto! 
Martin. Oh, what a hit! They must have at least a B average or higher and a drive for good sportsmanship. Nominate your champion today on the Features tab on DelmarvaSportsNetwork.com. The DSN Scholar Athlete, driven by your Salisbury Honda dealer. Meet the Compass Memory Care at the Lodge at Historic Lewis. From front door to back porch, every inch is thoughtfully and intentionally designed with your loved ones in mind. Our signature New Directions program combines proven methods of care with innovative and individualized approaches that engage and empower our residents every day. We're here to support our residents as well as their loved ones because caring for those that are deeply forgetful is challenging. Schedule a personal tour of the Compass Memory Care today. struggle, there's hope. Call Homes for Hope to schedule your same-day appointment. 877-CALL-FUR-FHFUR.COM Our soldiers are heroes who protect our country. But when they come home, it's up to us to help our heroes. Now, during FH First Spring Into Giving campaign, for every $29 cooling system tune-up we perform, we'll donate that amount directly to Wounded Warrior Project. FH Fur Plumbing, Heating, Air Conditioning, and Electrical. Call 877-CALL-FUR or visit FHFUR.com to schedule your $29 cooling system tune-up. And use hashtag Spring Into Giving to share how you're giving back. It is 6.46 on your Wednesday morning. We are going to take a live look right now at Laurel Bob and the sun. Finally, it's up. It's having its Teletubbies moment. We're loving it today. And uh, no complaints from this side of the desk. No, no. Yeah. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the other side of the desk where Matt Pensick says there, there are complaints? No. Well, well we <laughs> That's true. That's Matt true. says Paige always gets the sunrises and he gets the uh, the dark cameras. Uh, but good morning, guys. Yeah, we are looking at the chilly conditions this morning and actually mild the next couple of days in the afternoon. So enjoy that. A couple of days above average. Average high now is 67. 70 today, not bad. 71 on Thursday. And then it does start to cool down. Of course, we have the DSN Outdoors Expo. I think it's mainly dry, but it's chilly. Friday, 63. Saturday, 68. So have your windbreaker for sure. And then Sunday, even cooler, 61 degrees. Right now, here's a look at our clouds and radar. Mid to high level clouds, nothing really all that impressive as far as rain. We're not seeing any rain across Del Marva right now. We are seeing showers back to the west, making their way through the Carolinas, western Virginia, west of D.C. now. And it looks like some lightning for our western parts of Maryland on its areas east of Pittsburgh. And some of these showers will continue to move to the east. Some of them will dry up, but some of them will survive the trek. And they'll moving here later today. Meanwhile, we have this big area of low pressure spinning across southern Minnesota. That was responsible for massive tornadoes across parts of eastern Iowa yesterday. We're not dealing with severe weather with this system. 52 in Ocean City right now, 47 in Salisbury. So 40s and lower, 50s out the door this morning. And winds are pretty light from the south and we'll continue to see, well, some sunshine this morning. We'll see the filtered sunshine by 9 a.m. We're in the lower 60s inland, some 50s along the coast. Late morning upper 60s, 70 in Salisbury, the typical warm spot, and then some 50s and 60s along the coast. And a lot of inland areas are into the low 70s this afternoon. But with the warmth and some of that moisture to the west, I think we will see some hit and miss showers into the evening hours. Not a complete washout, even more of those showers through the overnight. Can't rule out a rumble of thunder. Here's 1 a.m. tomorrow. Maybe a rumble of thunder there, otherwise a mostly cloudy Thursday on the way. And I think we're looking at temperatures close to 70 again. And then we see temperatures start to plunge as the winds pick up out of the northeast and we cloud up. We're looking at 40s as we go into tomorrow night. As the winds are coming in out of the south, they're not especially strong, but then they start to come in out of the north and northeast as we go into your Thursday and Friday. So lots of clouds to end the week. I think we're keeping it mainly dry, maybe some showers Friday night and Saturday morning, but all in all, the weekend is looking mainly good, looking mostly cloudy, and then maybe their rain starts to move in by early Monday morning. Paul Davis, seven-day forecast. Low 
70s the next two days. Better chance of rain today. Cloudy Friday, 63. And the weekend looking pretty good, mostly cloudy. 68 Saturday, but then sharply cooler on Sunday, 61. And overnight lows in the 40s as we head into the weekend, getting a little cool. And then some cool showers on Monday, 63. And then it dries out in its mid-60s on Tuesday. Bob looks good. Thank you. Happening today, there's one more chance coming up to share your thoughts and ideas about what the future of Berlin could look like. Berlin locals can participate in something called a community comment session where you can share comments on the town's draft strategic plan that was developed with the Salisbury University. This is happening tonight at 6 p.m. at St. Paul United Methodist Church. Governor John Carney has ordered Delaware flags to be lowered to half staff at all state facilities through sunset on Saturday. The move is to honor the late former state senator Robert Marshall. He championed efforts to increase Delaware's minimum wage. Here you can see the Delaware flag lowered Tuesday in a statement. Governor Carney said that he was an inspiration for public servants serving 40 years in the state Senate and not once forgetting the folks he represented in Legislative Hall, end quote. All right, it is 6.50 this morning. It's time to check in with our Coastal Pet of the Day. And today's Coastal Pet of the Day is a loyal companion on your screen right now. That's Yogi. He's 16 okay. years old, and he was rescued by his forever family and has been loyal and loving to them ever since. Yogi was submitted to us by Kevin in Frederica. 16 is an accomplishment. Good job, Yogi. We want to keep seeing all your pets on Delmarva. Send us photos. Tell us what makes them so special. Yeah, you got that QR code at the top of your screen. Click that. Submit your furry friends to Coast TV News, and then watch weekdays from 5 to 7 a.m. to see all the pets we feature. Beautiful sunrise in progress right now. Boardwalk Plaza cam, that is just gorgeous. We're seeing the filtered sunshine. That'll be the case this morning. Clouds up a little more this afternoon. We have some hit and miss showers the next few days, and we're mild the next two days, but then we start to cool it down into the weekend, especially on Sunday. I'll have your 10-day forecast coming up after the break. This is like our forever home. This was the last piece of the puzzle. Pinnacle concrete coating actually showed me this particular floor here, which is tidal wave. I was told, I'm done. I'm, I'm good. Just let's start. When it was done, I probably sat out there for 20 minutes and just staring at the product before I went back into the house. This is not a garage. This is an extension of my home. I'm just thrilled to death with this floor. We get a discount for being a veteran. It made you real warm and fuzzy knowing that you're dealing with somebody like that. You know, I'm just impressed with what they did. It was awesome. After numerous successful shower renovations, we've heard your feedback loud and clear. You're craving more than just a shower. You desire a complete bathroom transformation from Baths by Spicer Brothers. We're reimagining your entire space, from digital design to meticulous craftsmanship. Every aspect will be customized to fit your unique style and needs. And right now, save up to 20% off your new project. Plus, no payments and no interest until 2026. Don't settle for less. Call Baths by Spicer Brothers today because you deserve the best. Positive, focused, supportive, and goal-oriented. These are just a few qualities of coaches who inspire their athletes. Each month, the Preston Automotive Group will select a coach who makes a difference and make a $500 donation to their organization. Then at the end of the year, three of these coaches will receive an extra donation to their program. Nominate your coach today at DelmarvaSportsNetwork.com under the Features tab. Delmarva Sports Network Coach Who Makes a Difference. Brought to you by Preston Automotive Group. What is Your Voice, Fun for Women, and Philanthropy Delaware have come together to bring Runaway Princess to Cape Henlopen High School on April 28th. Mary Goggin takes you on a gripping journey through her life as a former New York City call girl, a profound exploration of human trafficking, addiction, and the journey to self-discovery. Through this captivating performance, we aim to raise awareness and inspire positive change within our community. Tickets are $30 and space is limited. Buy your tickets today. For the world's greatest athletes, there is nothing like competing on the world's biggest stage. An Olympics unlike any other, the Paris Olympics. Catch the 2024 Paris Olympics Summer Games on Coast TV. Next extra, Katy Perry cooking up something big for fans. I'm gonna give them what they deserve very soon. We've got Katy hot off for date night. What was the hidden message in her handbag? Next extra. Today at 11.30 on Coast TV. It is 6.53. It's time for some things you need to know before you go. A long debated and discussed McDonald's location in Milton facing another setback. It's a small one, but it comes after the town's planning and zoning commission could not get beyond a number of concerns at last night's meeting. 
One of those concerns is the parking situation at the shopping center of the proposed site. Now the engineers with the restaurant must wait until at least the next committee meeting to try again for approval. County Governor Bethany Hall Long has now made it official according to the Delaware Department of Elections. She filed the paperwork to run for governor. Hall Long joins two other Democrats in the race, Matt Meyer and Colin O'Mara. The primary is set for September 10th. Town of Dewey Beach getting ready for the summer season. Town officials announcing a few things they want you to know before the season starts. The town will not be selling any parking permits for trailers this year. No trailers or boat trailers will be allowed to park in public spaces. The town will also be extending the swimming area on Van Dyke Bayside Beach this summer. And the water tower on Bayard Avenue owned by the county will get a cleaning before summer starts in the area. You might see some extra traffic heading into Ocean City lately. That's because pothole repairs are ongoing on Route 90 and MDOT says it will require lane closures. MDOT says that the potholes will be completely repaired by this afternoon, 3 p.m., the latest. United Airlines says it's feeling the impacts of Boeing's ongoing problems. The carrier saying it lost $200 million during the first three months of the year after Boeing was forced to ground those 737 MAX 9 jets for several weeks. However, the airline had its own share of mishaps recently, including engines catching fire and uh, wheels falling off of the planes. Yikes. All right, well, a massive black hole has been spotted at less than 2,000 light years away. Yeah, it makes the second closest known black hole to Earth. So close, right? It's, right. 2,000 yeah. light years. Yeah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Astronomers discovered the so called sleeping giant. It's beautiful. Look at that. While yeah. combing through observations from European Space Agency's Gaia Space Telescope. Yeah, they named it Gaia BH3. That is a mass of nearly 33 times of our sun, and it is the largest known stellar black hole in the Milky Way galaxy. The closest black hole is Gaia BH1 that's located about 1,500 light years away. Its mass, not even 10 times that of our sun. Is that supposed to be small? It's not even 10 times the size of our sun. Yeah. No, we'll go small on that one. <laughs> what I don't appreciate is that there's one, whatever it said, 1,500 light years away. Too close. I've seen too many movies where there might be cause for concern if that is yeah, true. Yeah, I don't even know. Now I have an irrational fear of black holes, but all right. Well, nothing I can do okay. about that one. So it is 6.56. Now time for a quick look at your forecast. Yeah, the opposite of a black hole, the sun, and we're off to a <laughs> sunny start today, Bob. Yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, hope there's no black holes because I think they, like, suck everything in, don't they? And we don't want that. And you know, you start talking about millions and billions and light years, it's just, it's hard to wrap your head around that stuff. It's pretty wild. Our day part forecast closer to Earth. We're in the 50s and 60s this morning. Thickening clouds could see a few light showers this afternoon. Low 70s inland, a little cooler at the beaches. Paul Davis, seven, 10 day forecast, 70 today, a little warmer farther to the west with some of those late day showers. Maybe a rumble of thunder into tonight. One more mild day Thursday, 71. Of course, the DSN Outdoors Expo is Friday and Saturday. And it's looking dry and cool. Cloudy on Friday, 63, 68 on Saturday. Then a big cool down on Sunday, only lower 60s. Looks like rain maybe on Monday. We get a break Tuesday, another chance for rain Wednesday as we keep it in the 60s next week. All right, Bob, thank you. And thank you all for joining us on Coast TV News Today. And the Today Show is coming up next at 7 a.m. We'll be back with Coast TV Midday at 11, so stick with us. And for even more news and coverage, you can count on, download our Coast TV News and Weather apps. Have a great Wednesday morning, everybody.